thanks everybody for coming in on, on time. Um, we have a really, really um, tight schedule packed with fantastic speakers, so I will need to start with a good example and, and keeping to time. So I have got the very great pleasure of um, welcoming you all here today on behalf of the directorate and the leadership team, because the work that we are doing from an integrated care point of view is, um, is the, the work of the directorate and uh, it is also the work of everybody in this room. So I I really appreciate you taking the time to come to the conference today where we'll hear from international speakers about what is international best practice. But also this afternoon we're going to see some fabulous examples of the work that's already underway, underway in Ireland um, through the poster presentations and the platform presentations. So please take the time to go and have a look at the posters because the ones I've seen so far are fantastic. So basically I'd just like to remind us all why we're here. We know that our system is currently extremely challenged. We have an ageing population, we have got an increase in the prevalence of chronic disease and obesity, we have a very hospital centric model of care, we have issues with our finance and with our staffing and we are currently providing care in a fragmented manner. So we need to take a completely different approach to how we provide services to the people that we serve. And Greg is going to talk to you later this morning about um, the listening exercise that has been done, um, especially with regard to older people. And uh, there are some really important lessons um, for us to glean um, from that listening exercise, and we will really take those um, concerns and um, suggestions on board. So this is really why we have to change things. There's not anybody here in this room that thinks that the issue with trolleys or delayed discharges or the fragmented hospital-centric model of care that we currently have is acceptable. We don't want it for our patients, we don't want it for ourselves, we don't want it for our loved ones. So therefore, we have to change things. And we can come up with lots of different uh, definitions of integrated care, but basically our vision is that we will provide person-centred coordinated care. So you can talk about horizontal, vertical, diagonal integration. What we want is person-centred coordinated care. And if you're wondering if we're on the right track, we have the corporate plan, um, the new corporate plan that supports the work of the integrated programmes. We have Healthy Ireland. We have the um, recent literature reviews that we commissioned to support the work of the integrated care conference. And Ernan is going to talk to us um, later on this morning about the WHO global strategy. And uh, we were at a seminar yesterday, and basically the summary of that seminar is that what we're planning to do together is is on the right track. So that's very reassuring. So we know how we're going to go about implementing the, um, the integrated care programmes and we also have a good idea of what success looks like. It doesn't have to be complicated. We simply want to know, can people report that they can navigate the system easily? Can individuals report that they've had a positive experience of care? Can our staff report that they're happy in the services that they're providing? So it doesn't have to be complicated. We don't need to make it complicated. We can keep it as simple as we possibly can. Implementation is a challenge, and this is um, a slide that I pinched from um, Ernan's presentation and the WHO report. Implementation is hard. Inter implementation is hard internationally. We're not the only ones struggling with this. But we can learn from each other. We can make sure that uh, we take the very best rules, if you like, and apply them to successful implementation. And by working together, we will successfully implement. Because we have plenty of examples of successful integration. And the integrated care programs um, are not uh, taking over from the clinical care programs. We are learning from the work of the clinical care programs and building on the successes of the clinical care programs and doing that together with um, yourselves in this room. So we have the five integrated care programs, patient flow, older persons, chronic disease prevention and management, children's and maternity. And what I'd like to say today is that you are really important. It's you that we're going to really rely on um, for making um, this happen and become a reality for the people we serve. Your opinion really matters and we want to hear from you. Do you think we're on the right track? But most of all, get involved.
because together is better. So I wish you all a really good day. And if you think about if we manage to get uh, our priority work streams over the line, imagine what that will feel like, both for us as staff, but also for our patients. And I think that's a very worthy dream. I wish you all a very fantastic day. And next, I'd like to introduce um, the Director General, Tony O'Brien. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Anya. Uh, good morning. Welcome, everybody, and a particular welcome to our very distinguished panel of speakers and chairs. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to formally open the inaugural Integrated Conference, uh, Making People-Centred Care a Reality. And that's no small or easy task. Anya has described integrated care as person-centred, coordinated care, and the five integrated care programmes are long-term large-scale programs of work to design a system of integrated care in our health services. And integrated care has the patient perspective as an absolute central organizing principle of service delivery. And it's based on the principles of illness prevention, patient empowerment, multidisciplinary cross-service care planning and delivery, where all health and social care services work together to provide a flexible network of care responsing, responsible to the changing needs of patients and their families. And achieving this, of course, will involve not just public, but also private providers, patient groups, clinicians, the voluntary sector, and indeed all healthcare stakeholders. The areas being addressed by the five programs represent areas of great challenge to our health services. As some of you may know, I've recently taken on the co-chair of the Emergency Department Task Force, and the integrated care programs are critical to addressing the problems our patients are experiencing when accessing our services. And your input and your participation today and beyond is essential to achieving a sustainable solution. Of course, it's worth remembering that these five ICPs build on the success of the existing national clinical care programs and all the work and effort that has gone into them in recent years. And the methods for achieving integrated care include care coordination, collaboration, and multidisciplinary working. And of course, as integrated care is person-centered, one size of integration uh, does not fit all, and nor can it be seen as a panacea uh, for all of our problems. So taken together with work in other areas of reform, hospital groups, community health organizations, e-health, e-health island, healthy island. All, all that work must continue together and importantly must emerge and develop in a way that supports the design principles of integrated care and the new ways of working that integrated care asks of us. I think it's a really good agenda for today. As I've said, we have some excellent speakers and I hope that each of us and all of you in particular find the conference informative and motivating and that we leave today informed by a single understanding on integration and about what we can do individually and collectively to achieve integrated care for all those who depend on health and social care services in Ireland. So thank you very much for being here today.